back to my channel and today I am going to be talking about episode 4 of Lovecraft Country. Kind of halfway through the season already. I believe there's only 10 episodes coming out for the first season so we're a little less than half the way through. So this episode is called A History of Violence and just a little recap of last episode. It was about Letty and her house that she bought and moved into. There is some ghosts involved and just people that were brutally killed and all this kind of stuff. So that's basically what happened in episode three. Now in episode four is A History of Violence and this one is back together with all the characters again. Christina, Letty, Montrose, Atticus, George's wife, Hippolyta, and her daughter just a little bit. So there's more characters in this episode as well as Ruby, Letty's sister, and William, Christina's brother. So this episode is kind of shorter in my opinion for important things that happened. There wasn't like these big standout things for me in this episode. This is probably my least favorite episode of the season so far. It was good but it wasn't crazy like the other episodes have been. So the first thing that really starts off in this episode is Christina is at Letty's house and Letty's kind of you know taken aback because you know they were done with all these wizard stuff and now Christina's here in their town. Well Atticus already knew that but Letty didn't know that Christina was in town. So Christina basically told Letty or she was like going to go into their house but um, from the third episode when the voodoo exorcist lady came in to kind of cleanse the house and she put like the marks on their forehead and she also put marks on the door and it's magic so Christina wasn't able to come inside the house because she has a different type of magic and I'm sure their magic is kind of dark. I would assume so the sons of Adam's magic is dark. It wouldn't let her come in so Christina like realized oh like they were dealing with somebody who has dealt with magic like a different person with magic. So basically told Letty like I need to get into the house. The guy that was living there before you was a part of the sons of Adam and the papers are hidden in this house somewhere so Letty basically was like oh like thank you for that information but you're not coming into my house. Letty kind of pushed her out the way and then told Tick about it but I can't remember if Tick actually told Letty met with Christina and that Christina is the one that gave her the money to buy the house and it wasn't Letty's actual mother who gave her the money. They went on a quest to try to find these Sons of Adam pages on their own so that they could figure out what's going on and maybe get some of the power back for themselves. The Atticus and Montrose all decide that they want to go together to try to find these Sons of Adam pages and like before they went we saw that Montrose was given a book by George before George died in Artem and it was a book from Artem and Montrose burned it. Montrose I don't know what he read in the book like what it was but he kind of probably felt like what good it would be to keep it so he burned it. I don't know if he read something in there that you know was crazy he didn't want the other people to know about but he did burn some evidence from Artem which probably could have helped them in the long run. Letty, Tick, and Montrose were gonna head over to a museum in Boston which I'm pretty sure Titus's like statue or something was there. I don't know if he was like a big part of Boston or something but I'm pretty sure they were going to his area in the museum because if he's there maybe some information about Sons of Adam would be there so I'm pretty sure that's why they went to that museum. So then that one guy from episode three that like told Atticus about Letty you know they slept together came along with them too but Hippolyta came um that random dude from the party <laughs> and then so did uh the daughter Diana so they're all there at the museum but Letty Montrose and well Montrose is dealing with some security guard like getting some more information but Letty and Atticus are trying to find this statue and stuff so they ended up like waiting overnight I guess until like the museum was closed to actually go and look for things and I'm not sure where Hippolyta and Diana went maybe they just like went back to a hotel or something well you know how do they explain that oh we're just gonna like stay in the museum you know what I mean so I don't know like what they did but they kind of left on their own and I think the security guard that Montrose was talking to was just a guy to let them in after dark or to make sure they have like a spot to stay until it was dark so when they're in the museum they find Titus's statue they ended up doing like they had to like take something out of a case line a line light to the thing for the door to open but they got a door open at the bottom of the museum and they go in through there in this huge area with all these different mazes and near-death experiences and all this kind of stuff and they have to go across this like skinny little board <laughs> across this giant cliff thing so they're like going across and there's blades swinging back and forth it reminded me of Indiana Jones a booby trap kind of thing so they finally made it over to the end and there was this door with these different patterns from the book that Montrose read. He knew the like which order to put them through. So he was able to open the door at the last second. So Atticus and them looking at him like, you know, how did you know that? How did you know that was the order? So I think Atticus and Letty were suspecting that uh, Montrose was a little sketchy <laughs> around there because he's like knowing information that they don't know about. But as soon as they get inside into this little door, it starts to flood. So like now they're working against flooding and 
stuff. So they have to try to figure out how to get through the little maze that they're in to the end, wherever the end is before they drown to death. So they're like going down this little maze and walking around and then find a dead body. Letty freaks out because it's her neighbor, but they're in Boston. So they're at least a thousand miles away from home. So why is her neighbor like in the bottom of this museum? So they're just like, what is going on? And then they go find the elevator, which is Letty's elevator in her house. <laughs> so I don't know how this tunnel system is all connected from Letty's house all the way a thousand miles away in Boston. Maybe some magic has to do with it. The area and distance magical or something. I don't know. Her house was above where they were. So her, they're definitely all connected. So they go to this end of the little tunnel place and they find this wall and there's some dude's arm is in there and his, his arm's cut off. <laughs> so there's arms in there and basically was saying like, you need to give blood or something like that. So, you know, Atticus goes in there and he gets the blood. And since he is a member from Titus, it works for him. So it opens up this hatch above them with a ladder and then they go inside and it like turns over to a ship. And then there's all these dead people in the ship with these different like skeletons. And they find a scroll. I'm pretty sure the scroll that they've been looking for this entire time, just one little scroll and this dead person's hand to like, they're trying to rip it out. And all of a sudden the dead person like comes back to life and they're looking at it like, what is, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> and then when the dead person like stands up and comes back to life, you see that it's a woman, has long hair and breasts, but she also has a penis. So she is like intersex. She's a woman and a man. So she starts speaking in whatever language she's speaking in. And then Atticus responds to her in English and they're looking at him like, you understand them? They ask it what, like, what's their name? And her name was Yahima. That's the name of the intersex lady man. So Yahima. And Yahima was basically telling them that Titus betrayed them. And obviously, of course he would. So betrayed them and like cursed them there and killed all the people. And so they're like on this ship. So I'm not sure in the ship underneath the museum or if this was like a little portal and they're like somewhere else. So I just didn't know like where the location was. That's what really confused me this episode is, is this all taking place underneath the museum or are these little doors going into like across the world or something like that? So I was just very confused about it. They like get Yahima out and they're going into the elevator because obviously if that's her elevator, it's gonna go into the house. So they go into the elevator. So Yahima's in the elevator and they're going up. And so they started to ask Yahima questions and stuff. And then every time she tries to answer, she starts screaming and it hurts their ears. And they realize that Titus cursed her to be a siren. So so if she talked, she screamed. So she wasn't gonna help anybody basically. And then meanwhile, while this is happening, we go over to Ruby, who's at a bar, you know, chilling down on her luck. She's just like, man, having a mad time. And then we see William come inside, who was Christina's brother. And then he's like staring her down at the bar and buys her a drink. And then they end up going home and they do their thing. And uh, Letty and Tick and Montrose and Yahima are like barely got out without <laughs> dying. And so at the end, they're getting Yahima ready, you know, for bed, like getting her food and all this kind of stuff like wishing she can talk and they're just gonna leave it for the night in the morning you know they will figure everything out so when Atticus and Letty leave Montrose is kind of hanging around just you know, hanging there. And then he goes over to Yahima and then he kills Yahima by slitting their throat. At this point, I don't know like what Montrose's deal is. <laughs> like, I don't know if he's working with somebody in Artem because maybe they brainwashed him because he was there for a while. I don't know if he's doing it to protect Atticus and Lenny after what he read in the book. I don't know if he's just being selfish. I have no idea why he killed Yahima, but he did. So now that lead is gone. At the end of the episode, so it kind of leaves that. So we don't know like what happens probably until the next episode. And then at the end of the episode, we get Pippa Lida and Diana driving in the car like on their way back to their home and she's looking at the map that Diana's drawing on and she realizes that that's the map that George was on traveling when he died so she does a u-turn and now Hippolyta and Diana are on their way probably to Artem to find some answers so like I said this episode wasn't really to me personally something crazy like it wasn't my favorite it was probably my my least favorite episode and the questions I have for this episode that really didn't get answered is why did uh, Montrose kill Yahima like what was the deal for that what will happen to Hippolyta and Diana when they go over to Artem because obviously they're not guests of you know them and the mansion's gone are they gonna see the mansion are they gonna find Artem and if they do they're going at night like are they gonna get killed by the monsters like all this kind of stuff like I don't know what's just gonna happen to them are there more connections underground in that maze do they go further out are the sons of Adam everywhere or are they just more in this little area and then why did Ruby and William sleep together like what what did William want with her? Cause I'm sure William knows that Ruby is Letty's sister. So why do they sleep together? So we'll find out I believe in the next episode, but that's basically it for this episode. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.